So in today's video, I want to show you how to create this amazingly interesting energy ball effect. And I promise you, you will be surprised by how easy it is to achieve this kind of results if you have the right tools. So the picture that we're going to use is this one. And honestly, there's nothing special about this picture. I just stood like this and shot the picture. I didn't think about the lighting or anything. Obviously, there are some things that we've got to change to make this work. Now, the first thing that I've done already is I've extracted my arm uh, on a separate layer. So how I've done this is by rasterizing my background layer and um, using a, uh, yeah, the quick selection brush to select my arm. As you can see, it is a very, very sloppy quick selection, but it will just work just fine for this example. So let's press Command C to place it back. And there we go. Now, I want to start off by um, decreasing or lowering the exposure of the background so i'm going to select my background layer and i'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer and i'm just going to reduce the exposure so that we can actually um, have something bright in our uh, composition let's say so something like this looks fine and let's cross it off now we're going to clip this one to a background so that it only affects the background and what i want to do now is i want to brighten up um, my hand but only my hand so not my arm and my sleeve just my hand so i'm going to do this by creating a levels adjustment layer so i'm going to press command l on the keyboard and i'm going to increase the white level a whole lot so something like this and obviously i only want it to affect my hand and not the background so i'm going to clip it to my uh, arm layer now as you see it affects my whole arm and not just my hand and that is because um, yeah it is clipped to my arm layer but we want to mask out the effect from certain areas so I'm gonna press B on the keyboard to select my brush tool I'm gonna go to my basic brushes and I'm gonna uh, select a soft round brush and increase my brush size a little bit and if I brush now with black you can see that I can brush out the effect from certain areas so I zoom in a little bit and I'm going to do this with my uh, trackpad of my MacBook. So not, nothing fancy, just to show you how um, easy it is to work with these brushes. So we're going to brush out the effect from here, maybe a little bit from here. And basically just kind of try to figure out the shape of my hand. And we can even lower the opacity to work more subtle, um, which usually works better. Um, when drawing shadows so something like this maybe and there we go um, I can toggle between X um, between black and white by using the X key and basically we just want to kind of dodge and burn um, my arm to reduce the effect to not everywhere all right, this looks fine to me. Now you can see that the edges of uh, my arm are terrible and that is because I made a very terrible selection as I just showed you. So how, do, how am I gonna fix this? I'm gonna select my arm layer and I'm gonna create a, a mask layer and I'm just gonna use a soft round brush once again. Uh, make sure the foreground color is set to black and I'm just gonna mask out parts of my arm. So once I mask out parts of my arm, my arm will become this dark. Um, basically hiding um, our imperfections let's say so I'm just gonna mask out parts of my arm just like here this part as well because there's not gonna be a lot of light on uh, this side of my arm anyways and go to this side as well and maybe we can reduce the opacity a whole lot so we can um, work more subtly maybe we can even um, yeah make these wrinkles even darker than before so we get this really nice um, contrast the effect let's say and it makes the wrinkles pop more which is a good thing I say all right this looks interesting this is the before and this is the after and I think we're ready to create our uh, energy ball so let's um, collapse these ones or hide this group let's say and now I'm gonna show you the magic so I mentioned in the intro if you have the right tools you will be able to create this uh, energy ball effect in no time and the right tools in this case are the brand new brushes that I've added to the ultimate photo manipulation brush bundle so 
um, within your brush panel, you can go down to the I'm Rinse, the UPM version 2.0. And obviously, if you purchase this bundle right now, you will get all of these brush packs that you see right over here. So the clouds, firework, lens flares, uh, light beams, etc., etc. But the one that we want to open is the I'm Rinse, the UPM version 2. So we want to create a new pixel layer. And I want to select this energy ball right over here. So let's select energy ball number two. And I want to make sure our foreground color is set to white or some kind of pinkish color maybe. So very light pink would also be fine um, in this case for me. So let's actually create a very light pink ball. There we go. Maybe this maybe this big and just click once and there we've got the first part of our energy ball now if we want to add some glow to this ball or maybe add, change the colors a little bit we can always uh, create an outer glow so um, now obviously the intensity is way too uh, intense let's say but we can just change the outer glow just a tiny bit if we want to and reduce the opacity if we wanted uh, the um, effect to be less and maybe change the color to something pink as well so something like this looks pretty good this is the before and this is the after a very subtle change um, in the glow let's say all right now let's create another new pixel layer and we're going to select this energy ball right over here and we're going to increase the brush size once again and just click once so there we have our second energy ball and it already starts to look very interesting now i've um i set my color to this pink once again um, i'm not sure if i want that so i'm gonna uh, undo that i'm gonna press b once again and maybe i'm gonna change the color to actually white i think white looks more interesting for this thing so let's click right here then we've got a white energy thing and yeah as mentioned we can just add an outer glow so i'm going to do that for this one as well um, reduce the intensity a whole lot and maybe change the color to something more purplish maybe something like this and you can just play around with um, with all these sliders of course all right looks interesting so this is the one energy ball and this is the other one and combined they look like this let's create another pixel layer and for now i want to uh, brighten up the center of my energy ball so i'm gonna go to my basic brushes and i'm gonna select a soft round brush press b on the keyboard and increase my brush a little bit and just click once in the center uh, to brighten up the center of this ball once again i'm gonna go to my outer glow and maybe um create an outer glow make it some kind of pink and yeah this looks pretty cool now let's spice this thing up even more so i'm going to create another pixel layer um, i'm going to go back to my uh, upm version 2 brush bundle and i'm going to select the sparkler twirl brush which is this one right over here i'm going to increase the brush size a whole lot so something like this click once and use the move tool in this case to position it so i pressed v on the keyboard to select my move tool and now i can just uh, click and drag this thing um, to position it let's say something like this looks fine and yeah <laughs> i can change the color once again so let's go for something pink because i want to keep my uh, pinkish style maybe increase the radius a whole lot and reduce the intensity because i don't want it to be too intense maybe make it a little less pink something like this looks pretty cool and let's cross this thing off and maybe to finish this thing up i want to add some um, some smoke to the energy ball so we're going to create another pixel layer and we're going to scroll down and there I've got some smoke brushes. So let's start off by using this one. Uh, make sure to select the brush tool. Increase the brush size a little bit and press V. Uh, sorry, and click and then use the move tool. So press V to uh, position it. So I'm just gonna position this smoke somewhere around here. This looks pretty fine to me. You can see that the smoke is actually overlapping my hand and I want to make it look like it's coming out of my hand. So I'm going to press E on the keyboard to select my eraser brush tool um, and just erase a tiny portion of this smoke. There we go. Um, let's create another pixel layer and 
um, use the brush tool once again so I press B and maybe we want to use this smoke brush uh, for now increase the brush size and click once and basically we're gonna do the same so we're gonna position this smoke maybe something a lot like so and I'm gonna erase this part again so I'm gonna press E on the keyboard to erase this part of my smoke and let's maybe hit um, create one or mo two more smokes so I'm gonna create another pixel layer and maybe select this smoke brush um, press B on the keyboard of course to select the brush tool first and then select your smoke brush um, let's see this one I don't want this one maybe this one this looks pretty okay let's increase the size and press uh, sorry and click once and just oops I clicked twice and use the move tool to um, position it once again something like so I'm gonna press E on the keyboard and now I want to have my basic uh, soft run brush once again and I'm just gonna delete some portions of this smoke as well and maybe I'm going to add one more so I'm gonna go back to my smoke brushes and let's add another one of this um, press B I forgot once again let's grab this one and let's add it to the top right here something like so all right now obviously I want my smoke to have some nice uh, glow as well so I'm gonna group all of these smokes together by uh, shift clicking the bottom one and then pressing command G this is my smoke group so let's re actually rename this one smoke and now I want to add a, an outer glow to my smoke um, group let's say and I don't want it to be so intense and I'm just gonna select some nice pinkish color something like so and there we go now to make this um, image e look even better um, we can change the color of the overall image a little bit so you can see that we've used a lot of pinks in this uh, energy ball let's say so let's actually group all of this together um, and name it energy ball to stay organized kind of so I'm gonna select my arm layer and I want to create a white balance adjustment layer make sure to clip it to my arm layer and just increase the pinks a whole lot so that um, we actually get some nice pink glow around my um, hand let's say maybe it's a little bit too pink so let's reduce it a little bit and we can do the same to the background so I'm gonna um, select my exposure adjustment layer that is clipped to my background because once I select this one and I create a white balance adjustment layer it will be clipped automatically to my background layer and I'm just going to increase the uh, pink color as well now if you're interested in this brush bundle currently I'm running a Black Friday sale which makes this brush bundle only $37 excluding VAT and this bundle includes over a hundred brushes of this high quality as I've just shown you we've got clouds smoke waterfalls northern lights stars comets moons uh, you name it basically everything that you want to create some amazing photo manipulations in affinity photo also I've created more than 20 tutorials that come together with this brush bundle to make sure you will get the most out of this bundle if you're interested check out the link down below in the video description this sale ends uh, the 28th of november so make sure to not miss out all right thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel like this video if you really enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next one ciao ciao